Hello, today we're going to go over the Ibex setup uh, using the X-Men's Ultra Plus software. What this does is it allows you to change all your bank names and alarms on the Ibex through the software. It's a faster process than going through and using the arrow keys to change everything letter by letter on the Ibex. So what we're going to do is we're going to need X-Men's Ultra Plus opened. We're going to need the Ibex uh, powered on and we're also going to need the USB cord that comes with it connecting the device. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is there's going to be this Ibex setup option. We're going to go to that. Once you click on that it's going to bring up this menu. Select upload menu on the Ibex and press OK below. So you're going to hold off and pressing that. We're going to go to the Ibex, power that on, go to menu, battery info, receive bank information. We're going to press enter and it's going to give you a pop-up and it says wait for command. Once this happens we can go to OK, click OK. It's going to establish a download connection. It's going to send some data to the Ibex. The Ibex is going to have a battery info bar and it says sending data. And they're transferring the bank information back and forth at this time. Now once that's completed we'll get a pop-up box and here's the pop-up box. The way that this works too is you're going to have to have pretty much the same setup as what's originally on here. So for instance, bank to underscore as a space holder. You can't have any spaces on there. It's just a limitation of the software and everything has to be in capital letters. So once you have that, for instance, I have Eagle Eye 01 for mine. Oh, you can go through and name each bank. You can go over here, change each bank's alarms. Once you have those to your satisfactory changes, you can go to send. Now here you're going to get a pop-up and it says wait until ready to receive is on the Ibex. What you're first going to see on the Ibex is a storing data icon and it's going to have a bar moving across. Once that's completed, it'll have a ready to receive. And once that happens, we can hit OK and it'll actually send the data now and store it onto your Ibex. What you're going to see is this data upload complete and click OK and it'll reset itself. Once it resets itself it'll come up and it'll have all your changes in the Ibex. Where you're going to see these changes are going to be in the reporting and also the battery info when you go to view data in those two settings. Where you're not going to see it is the home screen. It'll still have bank one bank to and whatever cell you're on at that time. But it changes it everywhere else. It'll be reflected. All of your alarms will be reflected. Thank you for watching this Eagle Eye Ibex support video. You can contact us at 1877-805-3377 or email us at info at eepowersolutions.com.